Yieldmax just debuted their new ETF, Ulti. Is it a good investment? This video is not financial advice, nor is it a recommendation. Please do your own due diligence before investing into anything. Ulti takes the normal yield max strategy and does that against multiple reference stocks. These are companies with high implied volatility, which is meant to bring in the highest possible premium income per month. At an expense ratio of 1.24%, this is their second most expensive ETF. However, there is a temporary fee waiver in place, which brings the total cost down to 1.14% until at least February 28, 2025. When I checked the prospectus, they included a language that gives them the flexibility to change which stocks they trade against, as well as their method of long exposure. Unlike their other ETFs, this fund allows the direct purchase of shares in the reference stock and leveraging those shares to sell calls. This allows the choice between a traditional covered call strategy or a synthetic approach. Each month, the fund managers will review this strategy and their choice of reference assets to determine whether a rebalance or elimination is necessary. Likewise, savvy investors like us will also have to regularly review the holdings of this ETF. The following are Ulti's holdings as of March 7th, 2024, before market open. Ultimune, ticker symbol ALT, is first on the list. If we look at their official holdings as of March 7th, we can see Yieldmax sold puts to generate cash to buy calls and then sold some shorter expiration calls against their synthetic long exposure. Ultimune is a biotech and pharma company that's developing treatments for obesity and liver diseases and has at least one product candidate that's designed to be a possible cure to hepatitis B. They do not pay dividends at this time. The implied volatility on this stock, which is what dictates premiums on their options contracts, is at 134.94% as of March 7th at 12.49 p.m. market time. This volatility level is around the 52nd percentile for its average, meaning that despite how crazy high that volatility is, this is around the middle of its range. Next up is Arm Holdings PLC, ticker symbol ARM. At the moment, Yieldmax has sold puts for a total value of $32,812.50 and bought calls currently worth $38,220 as of March 7th and sold some short calls expiring March 8th totaling $1,596 in market value. Arm Holdings is new to our stock exchange being listed as of September 14th of last year and is based out of the UK. They're a semiconductor intellectual property company. This means they develop and then license out devices globally. Some of their parts have made it into Android-based tablets. They do not pay dividends at this time. Their implied volatility is sitting at 98.87% as of March 7th at 1.07 p.m. market time. This is an 86th percentile IV, meaning this is high compared to their historic IV numbers. Third on our list is CleanSpark, ticker symbol CLSK. They're a Bitcoin mining company. They own data centers that mine Bitcoin, and they do not host miners for other companies, so it's believed they retain the Bitcoin they mine. This company is not paying dividends at the moment. Their implied volatility sits at 160.33% as of March 7th at 1.15 p.m. market time. Despite the insane volatility, this is below a 50th percentile IV for CleanSpark, meaning it's been even higher than this before. Last on the Ulti Holdings list is the crypto exchange Coinbase, ticker symbol COIN. If this sounds familiar, it's because Yieldmax already has a synthetic cover call ETF that trades against Coinbase. As for how Ulti approaches Coinbase, they seem to be taking a slightly different approach having already sold short call contracts against Coinbase without any synthetic or direct exposure in the ETF at the time I checked their holdings. After market close, I went and checked the holdings again, and it seems Ulti traded out of those call options already since they're no longer on the list of holdings. It's important to note that because of the super high volatility of the stocks they trade against, this ETF should also be considered high risk. Do you own this ETF? Since Ulti works a little differently than the other Yieldmax ETFs, would you like me to keep you updated on their holdings? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, you might also enjoy this one here on the screen. Subscribe to join the Cash Flow Club and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single video.